Hello everybody, welcome back to another lesson on sequences and series. Today we are going to be investigating geometric number sequences. Before we look at our concept map for today, I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever thought about patterns that occur in everyday life? One pattern that we didn't all see coming was the corona pandemic, where there was the exponential growth of corona cases. Now, we didn't even realize that that was a pattern until we started to see the graph and the exponential graph, but that itself is a pattern in real life. So today we are going to be looking at geometric number sequences. Let's have a look at our concept map. So everybody, in this first part of today's lesson, I'm going to define what a common ratio is. And a common ratio itself is the foundational characteristic of a geometric sequence. A bit later, I'm going to define the general term for a geometric sequence so that we can calculate term values and term numbers. Before I get into the specifics of common ratio, I'm going to do a little bit of revision on pattern terminology that's really important for us to have at the back of our minds when working with any type of number pattern. Let's have a look at some of those definitions. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is a term number. Now, please remember that that refers to the position of the term in the sequence. So TN is the nth term of the pattern, where N is the term number. So everyone, if I have T1, and we can see over here that N is equal to 1, this is the first term of the pattern. T3 will be the third term of the pattern. So the term number is indicating the position the term has within the pattern. So if I say T7, that is the seventh term in the pattern. Let's have a look at the next definition. So the next one is term value. And that refers to the actual value of the term. So we're going to have Tn equal to a specific number. So if I say that T7 is equal to 334, that means that the value of the seventh term is 334. So the term value and the term number are different to each other. If I say the fifth term of a pattern is 100, T5 is my term value, sorry, my term position, and 100 is the actual value of the term. So T5 is the term number, and 100 is the term value. So please make sure you know the difference between term number and term value. Let's have a look at the next slide. So the next definition is the general term. So the general term is a mathematical expression that describes the sequence and that generates any term in the pattern by substituting different values for n. So the general term allows me to calculate term numbers as well as term values. So we are now getting into the main principle, the main definition, the most important thing of a geometric pattern, and that is a common ratio. Before I talk about the common ratio, I just want to remind you that before geometric sequences, we do arithmetic sequences. And arithmetic sequences have a common difference. And that is when there is a specific number that is constantly added or subtracted between successive terms. And a common difference is the main characteristic of an arithmetic sequence. A geometric sequence has a common 
ratio. Let's look at the board to see the definition of a common ratio. So, a common ratio refers to the factor that each term is multiplied by in order to get the next term. So this is a specific number that I multiply each term value by to get the next term. So let's have a look at our first example. We've got a pattern that goes 3, negative 9, 27, negative 81, 243, negative 729, and 2187. If we are looking for a number that each term is multiplied by to get the next term, we can actually see that each term has been multiplied by negative 3. Because 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 9 times negative 3 is 27. 27 times negative 3 is negative 81. So for this pattern, I can actually see that my common ratio is negative 3. So just a reminder, this is the number that each term value is multiplied by to get the next value. So a common ratio is the main property of a geometric sequence or pattern. Doesn't matter if you use the word sequence or pattern. So this is the main property of a geometric sequence. Great, everyone. So I hope that everyone's okay with what I've done so far. I've discussed some pattern definitions and I have defined what a common ratio is. It is the number that each term is multiplied by in order to get the value of the next term. When we come back, we'll be looking at how we get the nth term for a geometric sequence. I'll see you after the break. Mm -hmm.